Today, prepare to be captivated by an extraordinary tale that defies belief. Journey with us into the unsettling history of the Pike, an ancient amusement park nestled in Long Beach, California. What began as a typical setting for boardwalk entertainment took a chilling turn with an attraction known as Laugh in the Dark. In this episode, we uncover the spine-tingling saga of an eerie dummy that concealed a macabre secret. Purchased from a renowned figure in the Hollywood Wax Museum, this seemingly harmless figure had a haunting past that unfolded across Mount Rushmore, carnivals, and unexpected film sets. Join us as we reveal the unsettling truth behind this dummy and the astonishing identity that lay dormant for decades. Stay tuned to Fadri Stories for a tale that traverses a web of mystery, crime, and an astonishingly bizarre journey that will leave you astounded. The Pike was an old amusement park in Long Beach, California. It had the usual stuff you'd find at a boardwalk, games, a place to swim, and a big roller coaster. One of its attractions was Laugh in the Dark. It wasn't super popular, but people liked it for a quick laugh or a scare. You'd hop into a cart and zip along a dark track. Imagine skeletons jumping out of coffins or tricky clowns giggling in the shadows. That's what you'd see in these dark rides. In Laugh in the Dark, they had this famous character, Laughing Sal, but there was another not-so-famous one. Hanging from a gallows was this dummy painted in super bright orange. It'd be easy to miss if not for a blue light shining on it. The dummy was bought a long time ago from a guy named Spoonie Singh, who's famous for starting the Hollywood Wax Museum. It used to be shown there, and even at Mount Rushmore and at different carnivals nationwide. But at Mount Rushmore there was this big storm that wrecked the attraction, and the dummy lost some fingers, toes, and bits of its ears. When Spoonie got it back, he thought it was too scary for his museum, so he sold it to the Pike. The Pike was a favorite spot for filming TV shows and movies like Charlie's Angels and Starsky and Hutch. They were all set to shoot an episode of The Six Million Dollar Man at the Park in 1976, called Carnival of Spies, and Laugh in the Dark, was supposed to be one of the spots they'd film. But before they started shooting, a guy in charge of the props decided to rearrange things. He figured the bright orange dummy wouldn't fit the scene and might be too creepy for TV. When they were moving it, the arm just broke off at the elbow, like it had broken before. Turns out, it got damaged during that big storm at Mount Rushmore. After taking a closer look, the prop man noticed something odd. The broken elbow had bone and what looked more like human tissue than wax. The police were called, and the dummy was rushed to the L.A. County Coroner's Office for an autopsy. Shockingly, it wasn't a dummy at all. It was a mummified human body covered in wax and paint. The coroner confirmed he died from a gunshot wound to the chest. With the eerie truth unveiled, everyone wondered, who was this man? No one at the Pike had a clue but the body had secrets. Inside its mouth were a 1924 penny and ticket stubs linking to 140 W. Pike, Sideshow, and Louis Sani's Museum of Crime. Louis Sani's son recognized the body immediately. It was Elmer McCurdy, a bank and train robber who met his end at 31 in a shootout with the police. Born on January 1, 1880, his mother, Sadie, gave him up to be raised by her brother and his wife, Sadie later hinted she might be his real mother but wasn't sure about his father, suspected to be her cousin. Learning his murky lineage angered McCurdy, leading him down a dark path. He drank heavily, got in trouble for public intoxication, and turned to robbing trains and banks in 1911, the same year he met his tragic demise. On October 4, 1911, near Okisa, Oklahoma, Elmer McCurdy pulled off his final train robbery though it was considered one of the smallest ever. He snagged only $46 and some stuff from passengers like whiskey and a revolver. A posse hunted him down. Drunk from the whiskey, McCurdy dozed off in a hay shed, completely unaware that the posse had him surrounded. A fierce shootout erupted on October 7th, lasting an hour until McCurdy was shot and killed. Strangely, no one claimed McCurdy's body. The mortician refused to bury him without payment. The body lingered in a back room until the undertaker decided to make money, charging people five cents to see the bandit who wouldn't give up. Carnival owners wanted to buy the body, but the undertaker said no. 
Then, on October 6, 1916, two men claiming to be McCurdy's long-lost brothers arranged to move the body to California for burial. Turns out, they were James and Charles Patterson, carnival owners themselves. McCurdy's body stuck with their carnival until 1922 when it got sold to Louis Sani for his Museum of Crime. McCurdy's body was showcased in an exhibit as a drug user who shot himself when surrounded by cops. Over time, his body had withered, giving the illusion he was a heavy drug user. When Sonny passed away, McCurdy's body sat in storage for about 15 years until it was used in the film She Freak. Later, it was sold to Spoonie Singh, the guy we talked about earlier. A forensic expert confirmed it was indeed McCurdy. Finally, on April 22, 1977, after over 65 years since his death, Elmer McCurdy was laid to rest in Guthrie, Oklahoma, with over 300 people at his graveside. They poured concrete over his coffin to make sure no one could ever steal his body again. As we conclude this eerie journey through the haunting tale of Elmer McCurdy and the Pike Amusement Park, we're left with a story that blurs the lines between reality and the macabre. The shocking discovery of McCurdy's mummified body, concealed within a waxen dummy, echoes a haunting past that resonates through the decades. Thank you for joining us on this spine-chilling exploration. If you found this story as intriguing as we have, don't forget to subscribe to Fadri Stories for more captivating and mysterious narratives. Hit that like button and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, embrace the mysteries that await in the depths of history and the unexplained.